Yo, what up, guys? Wally here, bringing you a free-for-all, and I'm looking to change things up a little bit today. Uh, you know, first off, you probably noticed that I didn't do my normal intro, and the reason is, as of late, I haven't felt so comfortable with it. I feel like it's not really me, and I don't really want to do things that don't really portray myself. Uh, you know, in truth, I'm not really that much of an extrovert, so I don't feel that comfortable being that loud and kind of drawing that much attention upon myself. I guess which may seem kind of strange being that you got your guys attention is already somewhat devoted to towards me. It's just not really I don't know, I just feel like it came across really unnatural the last time I heard it, so I have decided to kind of discard it. Um and the, you know, the reason being is that with this whole channel, my main goal is is to be reflective of myself, whether it be my personality, ideals or opinions, and I want to showcase those two, I guess as naturally and as with much truth um behind it as I can so when I feel like I do things that go against that uh, you know I kind of degrade the whole quality of, of the content that I provide you guys so I don't want to do that so that's why I kind of decided to pull away from it. I'm sorry if you guys really enjoyed that intro but uh, the good news is I'll still be doing all those other unique little intro things that I do like my guitar intro and my uh, stupid oblivion intro that I think is kind of funny so you'll definitely get more unique stuff like that from me in the future uh, it's just this one thing that I didn't really feel so comfortable with, so I hope you guys bear with me. Uh, anyways, though, the gameplay, I'm also kind of changing things up a little bit, and I'm using the CZ-75, and I managed to get a pistol mostly free-for-all, and the reason I say mostly uh, with air quotes is because there is one uh, particular instance in this game in which I run out of ammo, and I'm forced to use my sniper rifle for a couple kills. Uh, I think I managed to get like three or four kills with the sniper rifle. Uh, luckily, I'm using non-lethal kill streaks. So those are the only kills that I don't get with my pistol, and the rest are all with the pistol. And I thought this was like a unique, interesting game to bring you guys. Uh, the gameplay isn't necessarily skill-based. Uh, it's more just having fun and really trying to mix things up, I guess. And the reason I did this was, well, first I was trying to get Scout Pro. Uh, and if you guys haven't used Scout Pro, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to highly recommend it as a sniper. Especially if you're not someone who wants to be pure sniping and only using the sniper rifle. Uh, if you want to be willing to pick up other guns and try to use them, I think Scout Pro is a must because when you have Scout Pro... You can switch from primary primary uh, from primary to primary as fast as you could to a, as a pistol, so it makes it really easy to switch, and there's not really a penalty to doing so. Also, uh, when you have a sniper rifle and you tend to, you know, take a shot, a lot of enemies tend to rush you, uh, you know, much harder than they would another opponent. And when you have Scout Pro, you're able to switch quickly to an assault rifle and easily clear them out. Uh, in this game, it's especially important because Quick scoping isn't as reliable as it used to be in the previous games, so when you're able to make things easier on yourself uh, as a sniper, it definitely comes um, much appreciated, or at least in my opinion it does. So if you haven't given it a chance, I would say do yourself a favor and go pick it up. And, uh, you know, the last reason that I, that I decided to choose this game is it kind of demonstrates what I want to talk about, and uh, that's kind of mixing things up and breaking away from a state of complacency. I feel like oftentimes when I show you games, they're always uh, with a sniper rifle, and in my life, I feel like I'm, cu I'm currently in a state of complacency, and I guess I want to talk about the dangers of that, so to do so, I guess I'll talk about myself a little bit. I would say that I've been in a complacent state or a state of, like, cruise control almost for about a year and a half now, maybe a year, and my life is, is really good. I have a good life. Uh, you know, I'm a student, and I do really well. I don't have, like, a 4.0 GPA by any means, but, uh, you know, I do... I have cl one close to it, I guess, and, and I managed to do pretty well, and I have a lot of friends in my life, and I'm really happy at the point where I am, but uh, at the same time, you know, I'm not really working to for the betterment of myself, and, you know, it's really easy to sit here and say, well, things are good, why change anything, but if you do that as a person, uh, you know, the risk that you really run is never growing, and as you constantly go through life, you're going to be met with new challenges. You're going to constantly come across things that are far more difficult than what you had known in the previous stage of your life. And uh, one thing that really helps you to kind of combat that and to deal with these kind of things is trying to ascertain personal growth. And the best way about doing that is, you know, just constantly trying to move for personal betterment, whether it could be the smallest thing in your life. It really isn't, uh, it doesn't have to be the most drastic measure. You know, you don't have to say, well, all right, I'm going to live every day like it's my last second on earth and I'm going to do every possible thing that I can. I mean, I'm still a gamer. I'm still someone who loves to play video games and I'm still going to play an ample amount of them. That's that's not going to change, but I'd like to try to add some other things into my life as well, you know, uh, try to break the mold a little bit. And, uh, you know, the kind of dangers of complacency, I guess the thing that I want to touch upon before I talk about how I'm going to change things is that 
it's really easy to become uh, complacent. And once you do, and once you remain complacent, it gets easier and easier to stay that way. And I guess that the reason for this is because there's sort of a sense of comfort when you when things stay the same. There's a sense of familiarity, and with that sense of familiarity becomes a, a sense of safety. There's never any chance of failure. There's never any chance of not living up to what you're trying to achieve. So if you constantly live in a state of where everything's the same, there's no threats. And that, the longer you keep yourself in this sort of uh, state of complacency or, or state of uh, cruise control, as I'd call it, the harder it gets to break away. So it's important to, uh, you know, as a person to realize when you're in this state, I guess. And I guess I've kind of come to that thought process myself that I need to, I need to break away from it. I need to try some new things. So, you know, that's what I'm going to do. And I guess the real impetus for this whole thing was I saw my friend Colin uh, put up a video in which, you know, he kind of just plainly said, you know, I'm not in the shape that I want to be in. Uh, I'm showing you guys where I'm at right now, and I'm going to be working out, and I'm going to try and do better. And I guess, you know, that's really kind of one of the luxuries that we're afforded as, as YouTubers. We kind of have a platform from which to speak on to you guys. And I think by making a public announcement, it will make it much easier for me to pursue my, you know, pursue my goals and, and try to, to try to really achieve them. So, you know, the first thing, I'm going to take this in small steps because, you know, it's really hard to... <laughs> For me to just say I'm gonna do this, this, and this, and if I set on, you know, if I set unrealistic goals, more likely than not, I, I won't achieve them. So the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna try to get myself back in a really good shape. Uh, you know, if you saw me today, like just like the rest of my life, uh, I'm not in bad shape. I mean, you'd probably see I'm a pretty average-looking person, maybe a little bit better shape than the average person. But uh, you know, I used to be in good shape, and I used to be kind of proud of that. And I, I think I'd like to get back there. So I want to get healthier, and that's something that I'm gonna work on. So I maybe once in a while, I'll let you guys know how I'm doing, give you guys a checkup on that. And, um, you know, maybe if you guys want to try to do the same thing, that's good. Maybe if you want to leave something in the comments of something that you're going to try to do, whether it be, you know, read a new book, um, try to learn, you know, an instrument or something simple like that, just try to make a little change in your life. And honestly, when you look back at it and when you've achieved it and when you see that you're being active and, and pursuing the betterment of yourself, you'll feel better. At the end of the day, I always feel better when I manage to achieve things like that. So if I can leave you with one little thing, I guess, in this video, it would definitely be, uh, you know, Take the time and, and pursue that. Find one thing that you've always wanted to do, something small, and, and just start setting things in motion. And if you do that, you know, down the line you'll get there. You definitely will. Uh, so, yeah, I have a little bit of time left, and I, I thought I was going to, and, I, and I'm glad that I do because there's another thing I want to talk about. Uh, I'm not here to address any, any particular instances or anything like that. But, uh, you know, controversy has been plaguing, I guess, the YouTube community for a long, long time, especially the gaming YouTube community. And I'm not here to choose sides. Um, you know, for whatever reason, uh, this controversy happens. And I'm not saying that it's unjustified because sometimes it is. But, uh, you know, people always assume that their side's right. And what spawns from this and what's really the terrible thing about it is the negativity that comes with it. And, you know, this negativity is really... It's not what I personally want to watch, and it's not – I don't enjoy it. So I guess what I'm going to try to do uh, in the future and now is try to, uh, you know, I guess highlight some people in the community that I think manage to go against this, that are constantly positive figures and people that I look to when I want to watch a video and have a good time. Uh, I was going to talk about a certain person, but my friend Colin already uh, gave him a little highlight. So I guess the person I'm going to talk about is Snipenator. Um you know, Snipenator, in my opinion, is, is an extremely positive person when it comes to this community and how he takes on the game. He's constantly just trying to have a good time and do his best. I mean, it was really easy as a sniper to be negative about Black Ops. Uh, it was really difficult and it's really frustrating to try to learn to snipe on this game. However, you know, Snipenator is one person is a perfect example of someone who, you know, has taken a bad situation and made the best out of it. And, you know, he's a pretty good sniper on this game now. I've watched a bunch of his games and, um, you know, he's just a good player. So he's a good example to look through, look to if you're looking for some positivity. And uh, I think every once in a while I'm just going to I'm gonna talk on someone and give someone credit. Uh, even though my channel is relatively small, I still think that they deserve praise for what they do. So, you know, Snipenator, if you ever manage to see this, man, good job. Keep it up. Love watching your videos. And uh, just remain positive and keep quickscoping the shit out of everyone. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me today. Peace.